Time for another Throwback Thursday now. This is where we take a look back at the people and places that have helped shape our community. And this throwback is extra special for KSAT. For more than 25 years, South Texas viewers tuned in for his forecasts, but they had a front row seat to so much more. We are talking about the one and only meteorologist Steve Brown. Brown retired one year ago today. RJ Marquez gives us a look back at his storied time at KSAT. Steve Brown arrived in San Antonio in 1992. From floods to storms and heat waves in between, Steve covered every weather event in South Texas. He was someone who viewers enjoyed watching, not only for his forecast, but his likable personality. He is Steve Brown on the air and off the air. He's exactly the same, and I think that's what made him so attractive to the viewers. Viewers also love those hilarious skits. I used to play basketball, you know. Oh, you did? Yeah. We got a few injuries, we could use something. Yeah. What do you, how big are you? Uh, 6'10", 6, six, well, 6'6". Six, 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 six. Steve also introduced our ears to the human tuba. <laughs> Viewers got a kick out of Steve's vegetable garden, which was grown outside the KSAP building. And of course, there was Critter Cam. A year later, what is Steve up to today? Still comes by the station once a month, and he and Greg and I will sit around in the sports department and just visit, and he's doing a lot of traveling. He's doing the things he wants to do. That includes spending time with his family and friends spread across the country. It's a well-deserved retirement, but he is missed around the station. Before he just started doing the 10, we went to dinner literally every night. But he was the best weather meteorologist and weather man I've ever worked, and there's a difference. Whether it was in the newsroom or on the set or when we were out at dinner, he just had this infectious laugh. Steve left a lasting legacy at KSAT and left an impact on his peers and weather family now and into the future. There's just something so special about someone, especially in TV, specifically meteorology, working in the same place for so long. His knowledge of this area, even of the people, was invaluable. And so I loved getting to learn little tidbits and take little pieces of information from him. I give the powers that be at KSAT credit for not trying to hire another Steve Brown, because that's impossible to do. They hired an Adam Kasky that has his own style and is crazy about thermometers and is a weather geek. Steve's sense of humor and humility made it easy for South Texas viewers to invite Steve into their living rooms for years. Obviously, you gotta know what you're doing, especially in storm situations, but he's also, he knew TV, and that's what made him the good weatherman. We continue to wish Steve Brown the very best in retirement.